Hello everyone. We already know that the brain can be divided in three parts namely forebrain, midbrain and hindbrain. So let us understand its important parts and the functions they perform. You know cerebrum which is located in the forebrain is the largest part of the brain. It is divided into two hemisphere by a deep groove. The outer surface of the cerebral hemispheres is called cerebral cortex. Cerebral cortex that is the surface is folded into ridges called gyri and the grooves called sulci. These grooves and ridges present in the cerebrum increases its surface area to accommodate more nerve cells and this is the part that makes us intelligent and logical. The cerebrum controls reasoning, decision making, memory, speech, emotion, etc. It also interprets sensation and responds to cold, heat, pain, etc. Diencephalon is also located in the forebrain. It is rhomboidal shaped lobe and seats between cerebrum and the midbrain. It is mainly divided into thalamus and hypothalamus. This part performs some very important tasks. It is the relay center of sensory impulses such as pain, temperature, etc. This part controls certain emotions like anger. It also controls blood pressure, body temperature, sleep and hunger. The hypothalamus controls pituitary gland which is the most important hormone gland in our body. So, diencephalon is critical for our survival. The midbrain is a portion of the central nervous system associated with vision, hearing, motor control, sleep cycle control, arousal or alertness. It is a small thick stalk portion that connects forebrain with cerebellum and pons of hindbrain. It relays motor impulses from cerebral cortex which is the part of cerebrum to spinal cord. It also relays sensory impulses from the spinal cord to thalamus which is a part of diencephalon. So we can say it relays impulses back and forth between the cerebrum cerebellum, pons and medulla. Now let's move to the hind side of the brain. The hind brain has important parts such as pons, cerebellum, medulla oblongata etc. The cerebellum is located below cerebrum and it is also divided into two small hemispheres. Cerebellum is critical for maintaining balance and motor skills. It maintains posture and equilibrium. It also coordinates voluntary movement initiated by cerebrum. Medulla oblongata is another important part located in the hindbrain. It is situated below cerebellum. It looks like a triangle. It is critical for being alive because it is the center for cardiac, breathing and vasomotor activities. So what are vasomotor activities? Vasomotor refers to action upon blood vessels that changes the diameter of blood vessels. Medulla oblongata also coordinates reflexes like coughing, swallowing, vomiting etc. The brain stem is the region of the brain that connects the cerebrum with the spinal cord. It consists of midbrain, medulla oblongata and the pons. So to sum up what we learned today, cerebrum is located in the forebrain and it controls reasoning, decision making, memory, speech and emotion. It also interprets sensation and responds to cold, heat, pain etc. So remember, the cerebrum part of our brain controls all the thinking and decision making. Next. Diencephalon. It is located in the forebrain. 
It is the relay center for impulses and reflexes. It controls blood pressure, sleep, hunger and it also controls the pituitary gland. Midbrain, it is the smallest part of the brain. It connects the hindbrain to the forebrain and it is associated with vision that is sight, hearing, motor control that is body movements, sleep cycle control and arousal or alertness. It relays impulses back and forth between the cerebrum, cerebellum, pons and medulla. Cerebellum, it is located in the hindbrain. It maintains posture and equilibrium and also it coordinates voluntary movement initiated by cerebrum. So remember, it is cerebellum that is responsible for the precision of voluntary actions and maintaining the posture and balance of the body. Lastly, medulla oblongata, it is located in the hindbrain. It is the center for cardiac breathing and vasomotor activities. It also controls reflexes like coughing, swallowing, vomiting, etc. So all these involuntary actions of breathing, heartbeat, including blood pressure, salivation and vomiting are controlled by the medulla in the hindbrain. That's all for now. Bye-bye.